right, the first thing that we're going to have to do is download a plugin for OBS Studio. So go ahead and go to this website right here. I will have the link in the description below. Once you're on this website, go ahead and click here to download. And then once you're on this page, go ahead and click right here to start your setup. It will automatically download for you. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and open the file. Once the program's open, go ahead and click I accept. Click next. Click next again. Click next one more time. And then click install. Once it's done, click finish. And then go ahead and close out the window. Now we can open up our OBS. If you already had OBS open, go ahead and close it and reopen it so your plugin can load in. All right, once your OBS is open, we're going to go ahead and go up to file and then go to settings and then click on audio and make sure that all your global audio devices are disabled because we're going to be setting them up one at a time. OK, go ahead and close that out. All right. And then to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and rename our scene to Nest Audio. If you have never nested your sources before on OBS Studio, I highly recommend it. Basically, what it does is organizes all your sources in one location so you can use them in multiple scenes without affecting the output in other scenes. It's a great way to stay organized and also keep the stress off your processor. All right, once you have your scene renamed, we can go ahead and start adding our sources. Let's go ahead and start with our microphone. Go ahead and click the plus sign and then select audio input capture. Select create new and rename it. Then click OK. From the drop down box, go ahead and find your microphone. Then click OK. If you've never set up a microphone on OBS before, I highly suggest that you check out this video right here. I'm going to put a link on the screen. I'll also have it in the description for you. A very helpful short tutorial on how to set up your microphone so you can sound professional in your live streams. Once your microphone's been added, we can now start adding more audio sources. Go ahead and click plus. As you can see up top, application audio output capture. It wasn't there before, but it is now because we installed that plugin in the beginning of the video. Go ahead and click that. Select create new and then rename it whatever audio device you're going to add. We're going to add Discord first. Up here, you guys want to make sure that the mode is set on capture audio sessions from a selection of executables. And then down here in the session box, you guys are going to want to find your Discord and then select add an executable and select OK. You now have your Discord added as a separated audio device and we are ready to add more. Go ahead and click the plus sign, select application audio output capture. All right, and this time we're going to add a music source. So we're going to go ahead and create new and name it music. Make sure that the mode is set properly and then also go down here and select session and select your music source. I'm listening to Pandora. You can add more than one executable here, you guys. So I can add Pandora here and then I can also open Spotify and then it'll show Spotify on this list. And I can also add that as well. So I can have multiple sources set up on my music audio. Once you're done with that, click OK. All right, now that we've got our microphone, Discord, and music set up, it's time to add some game audio. Let's go ahead and click the plus sign and then click Application Audio Capture. And let's name this Games. Click OK. All right, when you open up a game, it'll show up on this list in session. I've gone ahead and opened up the game Krunker so I can use it as an example. If you guys have never played Krunker before, check it out. Free game, fast first person shooter, lots of fun. I'm going to go ahead and click it, add executable, click OK. All right, now we've got all of our audio set up. You can easily add more into the nest later on. We can go ahead and start our live scene. Go ahead and select plus, name it live, click OK. Now to add your nested audios, all you have to do is click plus, go to source mirror. You can name it audio mirror, then click OK. On the source box, go ahead and find your nested audio scene. Make sure that enable audio is not selected, otherwise you'll have an echo and click OK. You now have all of your nested audios in your new scene. You're able to add an audio mirror like this to every single new scene that you make like that, you guys, and it'll keep all of your audios that you've nested organized. Now that all of your audio is separated, we can go into settings and we could separate your audio even more so it doesn't show up on your VODs and you're able to play DMCA music without getting copyright strikes. 
go ahead and click on the settings and go to advanced audio properties. It'll now separately show all of the audio that you have added. Over here on audio monitoring, you have three options. The first option is, is that it's going to play for your audience, but not in your headset. Second one is it's going to play in your headset, but not to your audience. And the third one is it's going to play to you and your audience. So if I want to listen to music, but I don't want my viewers to hear it, I'm going to go ahead and select this right here. Or if I'm having a conversation with somebody on Discord and I don't want anybody to hear what that person's saying. Now over here with tracks, you guys, this is for your VOD, okay? This is gonna be for Twitch. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure that all of the audio that you want on the VOD selected on six, okay? So if we don't wanna hear the music that we're playing on the VOD, and we don't wanna hear any of my teammates on the VOD, then we would disable Discord and music. Once you have deselected the ones that you don't want showing up on the VOD, go ahead and close it out. Go back up to settings, go to output. Once you're on the output settings, make sure that your Twitch VOD track is selected and then select your VOD track to be number six. The ones that we just selected on the advanced audio properties. Click apply and then click OK. If you set your OBS up the exact same way I did right here with my music not showing up on my VOD track, then you are now able to play DMCA music on your live streams without getting copyright striked and your live stream VODs will not be muted. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to separate audio in OBS Studio. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.